grand and Victoria cycle to Argentina. After spending the last month or so riding the rainy Pacific coast, we found ourselves craving a bit more adventure than the highway shoulder could offer us. When we made it to Bandon, Oregon, we hatched a plan to escape across the coastal mountains and venture towards the expansive desert valleys of Nevada. With the help of Michael from the local bike shop, we crafted a route and set off for our last few miles along the Pacific. One of these right here is face rock. Yeah. If you go in this parking lot and just go to the edge and look at it, it literally looks like a face looking at the sky. Oh, sweet. It's, it's, it's worth seeing. Yeah. Um, Can you do the face? Brilliant. <laughs> wow. We just realized we forgot jam. Marion Berry. to camp for the night. What do you rate this campsite out of 10? 10. until somewhere in Central America. That's the last little bit we ever cycle on the 101. is squeaking so Victoria's trying to keep a distance from me because it's annoying her. <laughs> Very beautiful. Luckily for Victoria, the campsite in Powers had a nice bike repair station, so I had no excuse not to regrease my pedal. From here on out, we'd be on our own, leaving behind the well-scouted route that Michael had left us. On our map, we managed to connect a bunch of unknown squiggly roads that looked promising. So, with a few days of supplies and our fingers crossed, we set off into the mountains. So we've come onto a road that doesn't exist on the map that looks pretty good. The road we were going to take um, was covered in trees. It looks like it hasn't been used in 20 years. This is our lucky coin. I found it somewhere up in the Yukon on the side of the road, as most interesting things are found. Ready? Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> The Queen. So we've chosen to follow the road that doesn't exist. All going good so far, but we don't know where we're going. A little while later, the route became super overgrown. But by this point, we we're in too deep to turn back. So we decided to take lunch, regroup, and then do our best to push on through.
whenever we turn a corner and don't see a huge log in the way, it's the ultimate win. Great win. Yeah, there you go. Three X's, don't go that way. Been going to a bike packer. Yeah, unless you're a badass bike packer like, like this one. We're still not to the other side of the overgrown road, but we found a very nice clearing, so we're gonna camp here for the night. I always listen to the queen. That's it. Why? Because it's wise and it will take you to the best places. It will take you to the place you need to go, okay? You're stopped. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Keep going. I want to film you. Yes. This is where we camp tonight. Victoria's doing a dance because she's very happy and we're right by a little creek. God is coming to me. Please. It's because you left your door open. What do you Please. mean? You left it open. Oh my when God. I went to pee. God! Dead in there. Where is it? it? Yes. I want to see. Wait. I wanna see. No, it no. would escape if I no. get it out. Look, there's a leg. There's a leg. <laughs> okay, you ready? You ready? Wait, I need to see. It's gone. Are you? Promise me. Yes. Holy smokes. Oh no, I'm gonna have a nightmare. No. <laughs> No, it's a little deer. It's a baby deer. Glendale, Oregon. Our first food stop in a few days. So we got our road closed. It's always tricky figure out just how closed the road is because there's an easy way past the blockage. Most things bikes can get past but we don't know until we get there. But we're gonna try it because we don't want to go back. rocks on the road. In Grants Pass, we were very lucky to stay with Sierra and Larry. Oh yeah, how's it going? <laughs> who'd heard about our trip and reached out on Instagram. Yeah, thank you so much for having oh, us. Of course, I'm so... They generously hosted us for a couple of days, allowing us to recharge after our big mountain adventure. Enjoying the greenway. Very nice greenway. 
very nice greenway from Medford to Washington. No cars, no worries. We got some intel that it would be a good idea to hold off on getting to Nevada for a couple of weeks, as they'd had a recent sprinkling of snow. Thank you very much. So instead of immediately pressing on, we decided to kick back in Ashland, take a breather, and work on editing some videos. Oak Street Cottages. This is where we're going to be staying for the next couple of weeks. Whoa. This is huge. It's such a nice place. This is so cute. Yeah. I love it. There's even coffee here. We need to celebrate that we crossed the mountains. We've crossed the mountains. We're halfway to Nevada. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so we settled in for two weeks of rest, editing, binge watching TV, and cooking up some tasty food. Uh, increíble. Increíble. Look at you guys. There's another one. See you later, buddy. No. <laughs> We're all packed up and ready to leave this beautiful place. This place is called Oak Street Cottages and they've been so generous in letting us stay here for the last couple of weeks. Um, they basically let us stay here for free. So we would really appreciate it if um, when passing through Ashland, check these guys out because um, it's a beautiful place to stay and we've had an amazing time. <laughs> We got a second of basura. Heading out of town. That's a thumbs up from Victoria. We feel completely out of shape. Our bums are hurting a lot. And our legs are aching. But that's what to expect when you take two weeks off. It's like a complete reset. From here, although it doesn't look like it, we were just a handful of days from reaching the desert. We just had to tough it out through a few long days and freezing nights and a touch of snow and we'd be in the clear. Hi. Hi. Our bums are very bruised up from the first day of cycling in a while yesterday. We've now emerged from the mountains onto these beautiful flat plains. The next few days are gonna be very flat and then we've got one more mountain range to cross and then we'll be in Nevada. Nice of them to respect the crossing. <laughs> and just like that, the final mountain pass was in our sights. After one last climb, we'd get our first glimpse of the expansive desert valleys we'd spend the next few weeks exploring. Our Oregon adventure was coming to an end, but now it was time for a change of scenery. Remote sandy roads through vast, breathtaking landscapes, far away from traffic, pavement, and civilization was exactly what we needed. This is where we camped last night. A little campsite in the town of Cedarville. And over there is the desert. We're finally here. So interesting. You got something more interesting to say? No. <laughs> We've now moved into the motel because because of that. 
so we're gonna wait for that to blow over and we're both editing videos because now Victoria is a YouTuber too. Now we have two bloggers, not just one. 